what is middleware in NestJS and what are the best practices of using middleware in NestJS. All right, guys, welcome back to Sakura Dev channel. And this is another episode of our NestJS full course. In this episode, as I said, we're going to talk about middleware and its best practices in NestJS. So with that extra explanation, let's get right into it. So in the first step, let me give you a quick explanation of middleware in NestJS. Well, middleware in NestJS is a function that runs before the request reaches the route handler. It's commonly used for login, authentication, and request transformation. Middleware functions run in order based on how they are applied in the application. They actually intercept the request, perform some operation, and then either pass control to the next middleware or the route handler. A middleware function in NestJS takes three parameters. Rec, which is a request object from Express or Fastify if you're using Fastify. Res, which is the response object. And finally, Next, which is a function that passes control to the next middleware or the route handler. And there are two main ways to define a middleware in NestJS. Functional middleware and class-based middleware. I'm going to talk about how you can create both functional middleware and class-based middleware in this video. So first now, let me create a simple functional middleware for logging the request. So I get back to the VS Code and here in order to create a middleware, we can use the Nest CLI. So open up the terminal and here I'm going to use Nest CLI, Nest G middleware, and we're going to put it inside a middlewares directory. And inside it, we're going to create a logger middleware. All right. So if I go to the SRC directory, you can see it creates a middlewares directory. And inside it, we have a logger directory. And then we have the logger.middleware.ts file. Actually, it creates a class-based middleware. But as I said, in the first part, we are going to create a functional middleware. So I just remove all of these codes here. And I'm going to export a function called logger middleware. And as I said, the middleware function takes three parameters. The rec, which is a request object from Express. So make sure to import it from the Express. And the res, which is the response object from Express. If you're using Fastify in SJS, make sure to import the request and response from the Fastify. And finally, we're going to have the next function, which its type is a next function from the Express. So as I said, this function will be run before the request reach the route handler. So we can, for example, log something here, console.log, and then say something like incoming request. So let me turn it to a back text here. So we can use template literals. And here, let's log the rec.method and also rec.url. All right. Now we need to call the next function which, as I said, passes the control to the next middleware in our application, or if it's the last middleware in the order, it actually passes the control to the route handler. So this is the middleware function. And now let me show you how I can apply this middleware globally in our application. So I go to the main.ts file and here, after creating the app, we're going to say app.use and then pass the logger middleware. All right. In this way, you apply middleware globally in our application. So for any request incoming to our application for any route handler, this logger middleware function will be run first. All right, so now let me run the application. So here I'm going to say npm run start colon dev. And here in the app controller, you can see we have a get route handler. So I open up the insomnia and let's send a get request to our NestJS application. So as you can see, the hello world shown in the response. But if I go back to the VS Code, you can see here incoming request, the method of the request, and then the route handler here. Okay, so in order to make sure that middleware run before the get route handler, let me go here and put a console.log here and say something inside the route handler. Okay, so now let me get back to the insomnia, send the request again, get back here. As you can see, first the logger middleware is run and then the log inside the route handler has been run. So yeah, that's it for the functional middleware in NestJS and how you can apply them globally in our application. And at this point, I'd like to emphasize an important tip. You can only apply the functional-based middlewares in the app.use function. 
you cannot apply the class-based middleware in the app.use. I'm going to show you how you can apply them globally and also for a specific route in your application. So now let's go to the next part of this tutorial and create a class-based middleware in our Nest.js application. All right, so now in this section, we're going to create a class-based middleware in our Nest.js application and see how we can apply that middleware globally and also for some specific routes. So I use the nest CLI again for creating the middleware, nest G middleware. We're going to put it inside the middlewares directory and let's name it auth. Also put the dash dash no spec because we don't want to create the test file for this middleware. Okay, so now if I open up the middlewares directory, we can see we have an auth here and then inside it we have the auth.middleware.ts file. It's a class that implements the nest middleware interface. This class should implement the use function, which is actually our middleware function. So here, as you can see, it has three arguments, the same three argument with the functional based middleware, rec, res, and next. So first, let me just set the type of the rec parameter to the request type from express. We're going to do the same for the res. I'm going to set it to the response type from express. And also we're going to change the type of the next function to the next function type from the express. Okay. So here, as you can see, we call the next function, which just pass the control to the next middleware or the route handler. If there is no any other middleware in the list. All right, so here, let's say this middleware is a auth middleware, which checks the headers of the incoming request to see if there is any authorization JWT key in the header of the request. So here, in order to do that, we're going to say something like const token and set it to rec that headers and pass the authorization here. So it will actually get the token from the authorization key inside the headers of the incoming request. All right, so now we can just check if there is not a token, which means that the token is undefined. We're going to just return a unauthorized message back to the client. So we're going to say something like return res dot status 403, and then chain the JSON function and pass an object inside it. We're going to put a message property and say something like unauthorized. Then if the token is existed, we need to validate the JWT access token. We're not going to do that in this video because we already have a video in this series, Nest.js full course, which I fully explain the JWT authentication in Nest.js. So we just put it to do here, check the token. Okay. We're not going to actually do that. All right. So here, let's say the token is valid. We're going to log something like user authenticated with the token. And let's change it to a back text and put a template little here. Let's put the token that we've got from the header of the incoming request. And finally, we can just call the next function, which passes the control to the route handler. All right. So let me do a recap here. We just extract the authorization token from the header of the incoming request. And if the token is not found, we just return a 403 unauthorized message to the client. Otherwise, the token exists, we just log it into the console and call the next function, which passes the control to the route handler. In other words, it actually allows the incoming request to reach the route handler. Okay, so now let me show you how you can apply this middleware in our Nest.js application. So as I said, we cannot directly use the app that use and pass the auth middleware here because the auth middleware is a class-based middleware. So instead, we're going to go to the app module here. We're going to implement the Nest module. So your app module implements the nest module we need to import it from the nest.js slash common and here now as you can see we have an error which says that it must implement the configure method in this class so just put the configure here and as you can see it takes a consumer which its type is middleware consumer so with this consumer we can apply the middleware in this module and since this is our root module it will be applied globally in our application so in order to apply that middleware we just say consumer that apply and pass the auth middleware and then here we have two methods the exclude and for routes with four routes we can actually apply the middleware for specific routes in this module and the exclude function allows you to prevent middleware from running on specific routes All right so now let's try the four routes function and we can pass a star here which means that for every route in the app module and its sub modules apply this auth middleware 
I'm going to show you how we can use it for a specific route in the application. So for now, let me just run the application npm run start clone dev. Okay. Now let's get back to the insomnia and let's send the request again. So here, as you can see, we've got an unauthorized message here, which actually indicates that the auth middleware is working. So here, if I go to the auth here, and enable the bearer token, which actually puts a authorization key inside the header of our request. And here, for example, I just put a dummy token here and a prefix for our header. And if I send the request again, you can see we can reach the route handler and get the response out of the route handler. So let's get back to the VS code and see the log here, which says that the user authenticated with the token, the bearer prefix and the token itself. Okay, again, we're just marking the JDBT authentication here in this middleware. I just want to show you how the middleware works in the Nest.js application. If you want to learn about the actual JWT authentication in the Nest.js, I highly recommend you to see the JWT authentication of the Nest.js full course series on the channel. All right, now let me show you how I can apply this middleware for a specific route in our application. So first, let me turn off the dev server and let me create another module, nest gmo, and then create a users module. All right, now let's create a controller inside the user module, nest gco, and I'm gonna name it just users, and then dash dash no spec. Okay, so this is the user module and here, let me create a get endpoint. Okay, and we're going to say something like get users for the function of this get endpoint. And it just return a list of users, for example, one user, its ID, for example, is one and the name, for example, is John. Okay, now let's run the dev server again and go to the insomnia and call the users here and just uncheck the enable of the authorization header. So the request will be sent without the authorization key inside its header. So if I run the request, we immediately get the unauthorized message. But if I send the authorization key in the header, we've got the data of the request. All right. This means that the auth middleware is applied globally in our application because we just register it inside the app module, which is the root module of our application. And we apply it for all routes in inside our application. So here, for example, let's say we want to just use it for a specific route handler in our application. So we can say that it should be applied on the slash users. Okay. So now if I get back to the insomnia and run the request without sending the authorization key in the header for this users route, you can see we've got the unauthorized message. But if we just send the request into the root path of our application, we We've got the hello world, which means that the auth middleware has been not applied with the root route of our application. And in other words, it isn't globally applied in our application. It's just applied for the user's route in our application. Okay. So let's get back to the VS code. Here we can just pass another specific route in our forwards function. Or we can just, for example, slash here. And if I get back to the insomnia and send the request to the root route handler, you can see we also get the unauthorized message here. And the auth middleware is applied for this route as well. Okay. We can also determine the specific method of each route handler. For example, let's say we want to apply the middleware for the slash users, but only for the get endpoint. So you can pass an object here and then specify the path and it should be slash users. Then we need to specify the method, which is going to be the request method dot get. Okay. Now, if I get back to the user controller and change the method of this endpoint to post, get back to insomnia and change the method to the post and send the request without sending the authorization key here in the header. You can see we can get the response out of the endpoint. But if I change the method to get, we immediately get the unauthorized because the request first go through the middleware. So in this way, we can determine for which route and which method the middleware should be applied. Now, let me show you the exclude function. So here we can use the exclude function to provide prevent running the middleware for a specific route in our application. So for example, let's say we want to exclude the middleware from the slash users. And then here we can apply 
the middleware for all get endpoint in our application so actually we are using the middleware for all get endpoint in our application except the users endpoint now let me get back to the users and change the method to the get okay let's get back to the insomnia let's send the request without sending the authorization key so here think we need to change the method to get okay let's send the request and as you can see we can reach the route handler and get the response out of it but now if i just send the request to the root route of our application you can see we've got the unauthorized message which says that the middleware is running for that route handler we can send the request for another route in our application and we've got the unauthorized message even if we haven't created this route because the middleware when the incoming request gets to the nsjs application it first goes through the auth middleware and if it passes the middleware then it will be sent to this route so it does not first check if we have this route in our application it just send it to the middleware first and then after that it checks if such a route is existing in our application so if i enable the token here and send the request you can see now we get the error that says this get request with this route is not found in our application so yeah that's it for the middleware in nestjs it is actually a function that runs before the request reaches the route handler all right so in the next episode we're going to talk about the interceptors in nestjs and what is the difference between the middleware and interceptors in the nestjs framework so if you haven't subscribed to the channel make sure to subscribe now and hit the notification bell to get informed about the next video also if you like this video please give it a thumbs up to give me more energy for creating such a tutorials for you thanks for your support have a nice time bye bye